Good morning from the Second Age of Reason. We're here to bring before you an event which hasn't been named yet, but I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it the Great Land Robbery of 2012. Well, actually not 2012. It's been going on for a couple of years and will go on a few years past 2012. But it's a Great Land Robbery. And um, if you want to know how it works, you've probably heard about it occasionally in the news. It's all this um, foreclosures. They built up to it with a real estate bubble. Trying to get everybody to buy into a house. Get a loan. Some people could afford the loans. Nice. Interest rates were low. Three, three, two or three percent if you had a variable rate. Four and five percent if you had a fixed rate. Pretty nice. And so all these houses were purchased. And then came the recession. Massive layoffs. People can't making their house, not able to make their house payments. Suddenly there's trouble on the horizon. Suddenly, some people perceive it as the magic opportunity. The magic opportunity to foreclose. And um, they've made a big thing about it in the paper, and they've passed some small laws that are supposed to help you work it out. Um, but these are only token laws that work in a few uh, token scenarios that they use to advertise to say, see, you can fix your mortgage, you can get it all right, and um, if it, something goes wrong, it's all your fault. In some cases, maybe it is a person's fault. I'm not going to say in every case, but there's other cases we know of where it is totally not anyone's fault, other than the, the mortgage companies and their foreclosure mills, which are going gangbusters with forged documents from robo-signers that have the uh, judges bought and in their pockets. So even if you have the correct case and the evidence and everything, you still lose your house. It doesn't matter. And so it's happening across the land. And it's partly been due to this MERS new kind of um, house organizing mortgage payment system and it's all run off of some big excel sheet and probably some devious macros running and doing who knows what and then they go around and they make the harvest the cull they just go out and they <coughs> grab what they can some of them may be legit as you would have at any random sample of thousands of mortgages, and some of them probably are not. Some foreclosures that happen on houses that people bought with cash. The bank says, you never made any house payments, so we're foreclosing on you. And the guy says, well, of course they made no house payments. I never had to. I bought the house with cash. Why would I need to make a house payment to you? And the bank produces forged papers, gets the house. Well, anyway... Did you ever consider, if this thing progresses, now the government doesn't even care, they haven't done hardly anything about it, if this thing progresses, what is the eventual end of it? Where does it lead? Um, somebody says, <coughs> somebody says, what are they going to do with millions and millions of houses? <coughs> Empty houses? Not paying property taxes? Well... They say it's a crazy world, and it is, and it's run by crazy people. Yes, they are. And I'm sorry, but if you look at things, it depends on the context. So if you look at it in one context, it looks totally stupid and insane. But if you surround it with the proper framework, things start to take shape. Things start to look like, oh... There's more to this than meets the eye. So, uh, it just happens to be that we're in the middle of this budget crisis and this deficit limit thing that they're talking about. And it basically, it's because money has been borrowed. How much money? 
Oh my goodness. Trillions upon trillions are all they'll admit to. And so, you wonder if they've borrowed all these trillions, what did they use as collateral? Did you ever wonder? Maybe these millions of houses are getting ready for millions of somebody else to move into them based on uh, some other kind of a foreclosure that will come to be. So, I just thought I'd run that past you. I have no evidence. I don't know. I'm just speculating because it doesn't make sense that you would just want to, a bank would want to foreclose on lots of houses and have empty houses not making any money in a terrible housing market where the housing prices are going down. Why would you do it? You wouldn't unless somebody else has a claim to the properties and they have a use for the properties. And so that's kind of where I'm getting at. And I was wondering, what do you think about the idea of the great land robbery? Because, I mean, they set this thing up to be a hokey, broken system so that it can be easily fudged to do what they wanted to. And now that they are doing it, we just have to watch and see it play out. I mention this because I've noticed, even in the case of my own mortgage, certain um, discrepancies, certain irregularities, such as the mortgage company keeps saying, we don't want your mortgage, so we've traded it to so-and-so, and now you'll send your payments to them instead. And then, oh, here's another one. Well, you worked out for an electronic payment thing so that it'll come out of the bank every month, you know? But they're telling you that there's a late charge because you were late paying your mortgage. Well, how can it be late paying my mortgage if you're the one picking up the payments? see? And then they've come up and said, oh, we need to increase your mortgage $81 a month. Why? Because we can. It says we can in a contract here. See, it says that we can take out this much extra money for XYZ purpose. And then the bank that's where you have your banking at, one week they're owned by themselves and they've been in business for 120 years. The next week they're owned by a foreign country. So, there's a lot of stuff going on in America. And you don't hear about it that much in the news because they'll give you the two-minute blurb once a month and you go, oh my goodness. And then quick, they'll switch to a disaster. Quick, they'll switch to something in Europe. Quick, they'll switch to, you know, some other dumb sports thing or a celebrity or whatever. And then you miss it. And it's like people should, like, categorize these things and follow them more closely because in some cases such as mortgages that involve the house you live in it will affect you personally sooner or later so please comment below and tell me what you think has it been happening to you too irregularities and um, funny things with the way the mortgage is working and where you send your payments and how they work and papers they make you fill out occasionally or if maybe you've been one of the victims of these uh, foreclosure mills. Um, go ahead, comment below, and we'll see. Until later, we'll be seeing you.